What's up guys, John Sunman is here from simpleprogrammer.com. Wow, it's been a hot minute <laughs> since I've done a video on this channel, like a real video on this channel. But I wanted to do a video because I wanted to tell you about something that I'm doing that's new that you might be interested in, right? So if you don't know, I retired at 33 years old. So, you know, when I say retired, it doesn't mean that I'm just sitting around playing bocce ball, right? <laughs> or whatever, shuffle board. Uh, it means that I don't have to work anymore unless I want to, right? And that's really important because it means that I can travel. It means I have my time back. It means that I'm not a slave to corporate America, right? But I am running my businesses, right? I'm investing in real estate. I'm doing stuff because I'm not just gonna sit around and be bored. I, I tried that actually when I first became financially free. So I, that was at 33 years old, right? I, I went to Hawaii, I thought I was gonna move there and just live on the beach and sip my ties and play video games. And I did that for like two months and then I was like, no, this is the most miserable I've ever been. So I had to go and do some stuff. But anyway, my point is, is that I became financially free at 33 years old. I'm 44 years old now, so that was 11 years ago. and. What I'm doing now is teaching other software developers how to do that using the exact systems and framework that I developed in order to get there, right? So it's it's actually not that hard. <laughs> I, I know it's it, it, that sounds like that can't be true, but what what I do is basically this, all right? So it, it's really, it, it's really, I wanna say scientific, but it, it's really formulaic, right? So I come up with your financial freedom number, right? So what that is, is that's the amount of money that you need to be able to live, uh, to, to cover your expenses, right? You're financially free when you have passive income that covers your expenses. So what is that amount, right? So let's say that that amount is $5,000, okay? Now, again, you might say, say that's low, but it's actually not that low. If, if you didn't have to work and you were just gonna be free, you know, what number would pay for your rent, your food, you know, your clothing, like the basic stuff, it's probably not that much, right? You, you could probably scale down and be at 5,000 if you wanted to be free, free, right? So then from there, uh, we figure out, okay, what is your, the net worth that you need, right? Because you can always convert net worth into cash flow. So if I have a certain net worth, I can always get a return on that, right? So for example, in this case, let's say it's $5,000, then you need to have $60,000 a year, all right? And so what that works out to is if I divide that by 0.05, and I'll tell you why 0.05 in a second here, but if I divide that by 0.05, it comes to $1.2 million, okay? So in order to be financially free, you just need $1.2 million of net worth. Now, the reason why I came up with that number and divided by 0.05 is because I assume that you can always get a 5% return at least on your money, okay? And that's pretty conservative, right? I mean, with the real estate investments I do, I'm getting 30, 40, 50% returns every year on those investments, which seems insane, but again, this is something that I would love to go into details and show you exactly on a spreadsheet how this works. But my point is, is that all you really need is that much. Now, there is one other caveat to this, which is that whatever you have your money in, right, when you're getting that return, it has to be, inflation protected, right? So that's why I use real estate, right? Real estate, I use it for two reasons. One is because it gives me the highest return because I can use leverage initially when I buy the real estate, all right? And I know a lot of people are like, oh, that's dangerous. It's not, it's a, it's a safer investment than the stock market, I promise you. I know that no one believes me, but I, I've been doing this for 24 years, okay, over 24 years. And I've been through the worst real estate markets in that time and I have always come out ahead and I've never been in any kind of risk of defaulting or, or losing my investment, right? Never, okay? And I've made millions of dollars from doing that. So I'm just telling you that if you get the right education, you can understand and you're doing it the right way how the risk disappears. So anyway, my, my point is, is that uh, real estate, it offers that, the leverage, but it also offers a hedge against inflation because uh, you know, as let's say that you have massive inflation, what's going to happen to real estate prices? Well, they're going to go up because they're priced in dollars, right? So it doesn't mean it's actually gained value, but it just means that it's held its value, right? Because a property is still worth what it's worth, right? And then what's also going to happen is that the rents are going to go up, right? Because again, inflation, let's just say inflation, right? 
it, it's going to cause rents to go up automatically, right? The rents really don't go down ever in real estate. So, uh, but what won't go up? If you have a 30 year fixed mortgage, your mortgage payments will not go up in the amount of money you owe. So effectively, inflation works uh, for you instead of against you. You know, the more leverage you are in real estate, the better off you are with inflation because it's actually reducing your debt, all right? It's making it so that you're making more money from the, you know, your, your rent that you're, you're charging is, is covering the mortgage plus some, right? Because that goes up, but the mortgage payment doesn't go up if you're doing a 30 year fixed loan, right? So anyway, there's a lot of details, obviously. I'm, I'm trying to give you as best explanation of this as possible, but what I essentially do, right? And I've been helping software developers do this because you guys have some, some money, right? You're, you're making good money and you need to invest this money in a smart way and do the smart things in order to, uh, to, to really capitalize on this and, and to have money when AI takes over, you know, <laughs> like, but, but seriously. Okay. And so, so what we do is we come up with your financial, financial freedom number, know how much net worth that you need to have. Right. And again, if you needed $10,000 a month, then you would need what? $2.4 million. Right. I always say that the safest number, if you really want to live like a King and be financially free right now is $3 million. If you have $3 million, you are pretty much set for life as long as you put it into the right assets, which is, is not that hard to do, okay? So once we do that, then we know what the gap is, okay? Now I have a calculator that I have created, some software that I've built, that will tell you exactly how long it will take you to become financially free based on some scenarios, right? And the scenarios are how much money do you have to invest every single month? Where are you starting from? Right, and then uh, you know, and, and then a couple other factors based on interest rate and, and some assumptions that we can make, right? But typically, what I find is most guys, if they do it right, they can be done in seven, seven to uh, ten years, right? Now, some faster than that, but that's about the average, okay? So now, again, you might say, well, that takes a long time, John, but yeah, 20, 30, 40, 50 years is what most people spend trying to retire, honestly, okay? And and I'm talking about retiring with your financial freedom number, not just enough to scrape by, right? So uh, so then we, we figure out what is the gap here, right? And then this is where I help you, all right? I'm helping software developers. I have so many that I've, I'm coaching right now that I've coached. Uh, in fact, one of my most successful uh, clients, Gregory uh, from DAP University, I helped him create DAP University, right? When he was first working with me, when he first came to me, he was just a JavaScript developer, no business experience, anything. And I helped him to grow a $3 million business in two years from nothing, okay? So anyway, uh, what, what I do is I figure out what that gap is, and then I help you in three ways. The first way is let's squeeze as much as we can out of your current job, right? Or get you a new job. There's so many times, again, I've been doing this for so long, especially the career coaching part, I can get you a raise. Like, I can get you a raise very quickly that will cl easily pay for itself for any any coaching that you would get from me, and uh, or, or I can get you another job. Right? It, it's not hard. Yeah, I, you know, this is something that I'm an expert in. This is is child's play for me. Okay. The second thing that I do, and this one's a little bit harder, is I help you build a business. Right? Now for this. I need your cooperation, right? I need you to put in the work and, and time, but I have proven formulas. I've been building businesses for a very long time, coach a lot of guys, right? I've run my own businesses of all kinds. And so it's not that hard, right? To get you to 10K a month in your own business, it really doesn't, it, it, it doesn't take, it's not that hard, okay? It can be done. It can be done in as quick as two months, all right? Now I don't promise that because, man, you gotta really be hustling and listen to what I'm saying and not everyone's cut out for that one, but definitely in two years, right? And again, might seem like a long timeline, but that's because people are telling you drop shipping and all this stupid stuff that you know is a scam. Maybe you've tried it, you've lost money. Don't do that kind of stuff, okay? So that's the second thing I do. The third thing I do is I help you invest in real estate, right? I teach you about it. I teach you exactly how to do it. I, again, I've been doing this for 24 years, all right? I, I do this every, every year. I deal with this every single day, right? I can show you the safe way to do this where it's not crazy, it's not stupid stuff again, but you do have to have some capital because I don't do this no money down kind of ridiculous financing scams, okay? I don't do that, I don't play with that, all right? Because what I'm doing is a conservative approach. So anyway, I do those three things and what I have is a program where uh, it's a six month program, all right, where you get weekly 
calls with me. Weekly, I'm there mentoring you, helping you, kicking your ass, making sure you're getting stuff done, and uh, and, and making sure that you're gonna be successful at, at, at this. So uh, there's so much stuff in there, so many frameworks I've developed over time, as you can imagine, right? I have a system that I, that I have developed because I did this myself, and then I've helped so many people to do it as well. So if you want to know more about this, okay, uh, I'm gonna put a link down below this video, and you can. there's an application process, okay, and you can book a call with someone on my team who will kind of filter things out and make sure you're a good fit, and if so, then we can talk about working together. But, uh, but yeah, if you're a software developer and you're interested in passive income, retiring young, or you know, just setting up your financial free future so you can be financially free, click the link down below, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know.